Okay. I'm back. I tried to do a pause, but the pause didn't work out too well. I had to use the bathroom. Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> so this ended up in two pieces. Um, anyway, I was last saying for my pile number threes is a fear of intimacy. And that's due to past heartbreak and heartache and, um, you know, betrayals. We have to work through that and surrender and allow love in because we're ready. We're ready for it. Just got to open up our hearts. <coughs> okay. Life coaching oracle. <coughs> wow. <coughs> Throat chakra. Really, really tight. Pound number threes, I think we'll be able to surrender more to intimacy when we finally do speak our peace or our truth. Because... <coughs> My throat was not locked up like this for everyone else. But this reading here, it feels like someone who feels stifled or like they can't say how they feel. All right, so I have education. Education is an important part of your soul's development at this time. So right now, it's time to start studying, joining workshops, reading books, taking transformational courses, anything that can further your knowledge of what it is you're here to do okay which we're going to find out because i'm going to pull i'm sure in the light worker cards i'm going to pull up your spiritual mission here and it'll let you know what you need to focus your studies on shock of the new okay why does this feel like two cards it's so thick shock of the new and what i'm getting with this is a rebirth you just shocking everybody like you're going to or you already have become somebody totally different from the you that people thought they knew um i see you doing music and expressing yourself musically expressing yourself in appearance i see you uh expressing yourself culturally I see a lot of presence, spotlight, people noticing you, you being heard, speaking, podcasts, just beautiful, just shining, just radiant, just standing in your power, um, like a phoenix being reborn. And it'll be new to you too. It's going to be a whole new world for you. Got to stop holding on to old stuff said this new can come in that's the problem this this wants to come in okay and you're a little shocked you deserve it you're worthy but i guess it's been a long time coming but it's here so stop holding on to old shit said this new shit oh, i'm sorry about my language just stops this new stuff will come in and look she has a looks like a symbol of metatron no i forgot what that star is <clears throat> gosh she has the star i forgot the symbol's name if you know it you can write it in the comments it's right at her throat see your throat chakra my pal number threes we have something we have to communicate something we need to say not just to maybe an individual but to the world the whole world's behind her and also her heart is shining as well open up that heart and she's left the dark behind she's music and happiness i see singing and dancing and just speaking just your voice your words really really changing lives last but not least your light worker card Second Ray of Wisdom. And I'm going to read this one because this card is a little new to me. But what I'm getting is you having the power within yourself, having the support of your angels and guides. Just making it through an initiation, an ascension, where it's not like you got your wings in, like, in death, but like you got your wings. Yeah, Look at the power you hold. Look at the power right in your center. 
Let me just see what this is all about. And that's the number two. The second ray of wisdom is a consciousness of loving wisdom straight from the heart of the universe. It amplifies the magnetic power of attraction, empowering you to pull into your life all that is needed for your life's work. It brings the opportunity to heal, restore, and understand through the power of love and the light of ancient wisdom. The spiritual master known as the Buddha is with you now to help you fully receive and integrate the blessing of this ray of light from the universe. Now that's deep because on my television right now, I don't know if you can hear it, is a Bansuri flute music, which is a part of the Buddha's lounge channel on YouTube. And there is a statue of a Buddha resting on my screen. So that's just really deep to me. Because this wasn't on the whole time. Something else was playing. Something totally different. Um, all right. The second ray of wisdom is the energy of the open and loving heart of the universe. It is inclusive, drawing all things towards it with an invisible magnetism. It is gifted to you at this time to help you attract into your life the people, opportunities, and teachings that will help you succeed in your life mission. This ray will help you focus your consciousness in your heart. It will bring to consciousness any unresolved matters of the heart for healing. This includes not only issues of relationship, but also any issues around trusting your heart to lead you. This ray will help heal your heart in an affirming and nurturing way. Now there's a little bit more here. Right. The second rare wisdom relates to teachers and education. Did we not get the education card? You are encouraged to trust that you have a message to share that is helpful and educational for others. Whether your involvement in education and teaching is formal or less obvious, you are encouraged to honor the energy of the teacher in your life. In some way, your sole purpose likely involves helping others to learn through wisdom and love. I love that. Trust that the universe has all that you want and need in unlimited supply. The universe will truly provide for you, dear child of light. Being able to trust in future abundance is important. Okay? The challenge with this ray, given that it is so magnetic and attractive, is learning to discern and say no when you need to. All right? Now that was pretty deep. And that's what I have for my pile number threes. I hope that these readings resonated. I'm gonna read that. I'm knocking things over. What a way to close out. Um I hope these re readings did help and resonated in some way, shape, or form and help you navigate through this month. <coughs> with a little bit more confidence <clears throat> oh gosh I feel like I want to do something else but I don't have any more of my uh, little trinkets around me let me see something here I have my love box what do I grab whatever I grab will do alright so I'm going to give you a love message this is the one that popped in my hand it's my songs so I'm just going to grab some alright how many I have here? One, two. Oh, I'm not singing all of this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. I'll do six collective. So let's. Spirit, ancestors. I'll take that one. I'll take that two. I'll do three. Because we have three piles here. So if you chose pile one, two, and three, doesn't matter. You can pick again. All right. <clears throat> Number one. I love me some you, another man will never do, or woman. All right, so if you chose one, that is what the person you love or the person that's coming towards you is thinking. All right, they love some you. 
Number two, keep on walking. I ain't talking to you anymore. You could just go, go on, baby. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So whoever you're thinking about feels like they're not talking to you, to you no more, and you could just be on your way. You could go, keep walking. Um, or you're saying that to them. And last but not least, number threes. Forever, my lady. It's like a dream. I'm holding you close and keeping you warm. If this is ecstasy. <laughs> and I chose three. So the person I'm thinking of is thinking that I'm forever they lady. They got another thing coming. Because if you don't treat me right, I am not forever your lady. Okay, but that's what they're thinking, my number threes, if you chose three. Um, on that note, I really don't want y'all to see me today. I look a hot mess. But um, I can't leave without saying peace, blessings, and all that good stuff you get from being a part of my tribe. I love you guys.